Hi everyone, this is Dane Sims from Transcend Guitar School. I'm going to show you how to do the double thumb technique on your electric guitar. We're going to start off with some basics with the hands and then we'll move into some exercises. I'm using a seven string electric guitar, so let's jump in. Okay, first starting off, we're just going to get our hand in the proper position. So, we need a big thumbs up, giving the big OK there, making sure our thumb is extended. Doesn't matter if it's got a bit of a bend on it, just adapt it to your own personal style and then you're going to want a clenched fist although not as if you're ready to punch someone with it not not tensed but nice and relaxed just to give a bit of counterbalance to the thumb we're going to go through the seventh string or the sixth string whatever guitar you have your lower string we're going to go through it and we're going to land on the second lower string so we're going through the string to hit it through and land on it like that and then on the upstroke, we're going to use the thumb to come up and pluck upwards. So we're going through and then up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you can do that on every single string. So now I'm moving, moving up to my E string, down, up, down, up down, up. And just remember, I'm going through the string. I'm not landing on it. You have to go through it because that's what plucks it. And you can see I've landed on the string after and then you come up with the pluck. And that's your basic double thumb concept. Okay, we're gonna first start off with some single string exercises. I'll be starting on the low B string. I'd like to go through it once and then you're gonna follow through after me. Okay, so that was a open grouping mixed with a muted grouping and then a mixture of both. I'm now going to move on to the A string and do the same thing. That exercise that we just did can be done on every single string. Just keep in mind when you get to the highest E string, you still can go through, but I'm hitting my pickup and then I'm coming back up again. So it feels a little bit awkward because there's no string to go to, but just use the pickup or the guitar's body as the stopping point and then you just come back up. Okay, next we're gonna move on to some scales. This will increase your ability to go from fret to fret with the double thumb. So we're going to double thumb each note. So it'll be a down and an up for each note of this major scale. Okay, now it's your turn to do some. Okay, our next one is the minor scale. And just like the major scale, this starts up on the, not the third, not the fifth, but the seventh fret, nice and high. And let's begin.
I hope that was a little bit of an insight into the double thumb technique for you absolute beginners. Just remember, take it string by string, keep it really slow, focus on the technique first, and then the speed will come later. Make sure that the thumb goes through the string and then plucking back up with the nail. And then move on to your scales after you've gotten a little bit of a feel for the string to string movement and then you can work on to the fret to fret movement and get some alternate double thumbs in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.